All right. My name is Evangelist Alexander Ose Kwame Possible. You can call me Possible for short from Ghana. Today we are going to look at a question from University of Education, Winneba, to be precise, Kumasi Campus. I hope it makes sense. They are macroeconomists. Now, stay tuned and make sure to join the class. I will be your tutor for today. Don't worry. Make you no shiver at all. So, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Right? Subscribe to the channel so that you can get access to every new video that will be uploaded. We are going to teach you on this channel. I hope it makes sense. So, make sure to make good use of the channel. Subscribe. Just click on the subscribe button. When you click on the subscribe button, every new video that we upload, you will get notification. And when you click on the notification, it will lead to the video. I hope it makes sense. Let us go to the board. Over there, I'm going to take away my suit because we mean business there, right? I've told you that my name is possible and can you subscribe to the channel so that you can get access to every new video. Everything is for free. I What did I say? I said it's for free. If anyone collects your money, report the person to me on the contact that is running below the screen, below the screen or the contact here, the contact here. You see that one? That is my WhatsApp contact. Yes, that one, my WhatsApp contact. Okay, bye-bye. We are going to the board straight. <laughs> All right. The question says that the following data represents the Burmese economy in 2010. Use it to answer the questions that follow. Export equal to 2,000, import equal to 2,005, taxes on income equal to 3,000, rent equal to 4,000, GDP at market price equal to 80,000, taxes on expenditure equal to 1,000, subsidies equal to 3,000, depreciation equal to 1,000, and net property income from abroad is 5,000. From the data above, we have to calculate GDP at factor cost, NDP at market prices, GNP at market prices, GNP at factor cost, and NNP at factor cost. I hope it makes sense. Now, before I go straight to the question, let me first um, explain one or two things on you. Now, this question is one of the simplest questions um, that I, I have ever seen, right? Why am I saying that? This is because when you look at the question, you could see that um, the question has already given us GDP at market price. Now, because we have GDP at market price, then we are good to go, right? There is no need for us to go back and calculate for GDP at market price by using either the expenditure approach or the product approach or the income approach because, because the question has already... Um, giving us the GDP at market price. So all what we need to do is to just go straight to the point and then we compute it um, We compute for whatsoever they have asked us to do. I hope it makes sense Now the export and the import in the question they are just using it to confuse you. Why? Because GDP at market prices if we are, if we are using the product approach or the production approach or the output approach I hope it makes sense we, are, we, are, we have to capture the import and the export before we get the GDP at market price. So once they have given us the GDP at market price figure to be 80,000, we assume that the import and the export are within it. They have included it. I hope it makes sense. So there is no need to capture the import and the exports again. If you capture it, it will be double counting, which is um, one of the paid for or one of the weakness of the product approach i hope it makes sense nice one so that's how it is the rent you are not supposed to capture the rent because the rent is the reward for land i hope it makes sense and that one is under income approach if you capture it it, it is not going to work i hope it makes sense because we could see that this one is a product approach i hope it makes sense nice one so we are not go going to capture the rent we are not going to leave it, the export and the import and the rent, leave them. Now, there is one factor that I have to also explain, that is the taxes on income and the taxes on expenditure. Taxes on income and the taxes on expenditure are not the same. Taxes on income um, is a direct tax. According to Income Tax Law Act 2015 at 896, 
income tax law, right? Good. When you do taxation, taxation. So the taxes on income, which is 3,000, is a direct tax. And the taxes on expenditure is an indirect tax. I hope it makes sense. So the taxes on expenditure is an indirect tax because that is a tax that the government will put on the, um, um, the firms. And the firms also will shift it on consumption, or which is the household. I hope it makes sense. So it will be finally paid by the, the, the household. I hope it makes sense. It will either be shifted fully or partially to the household. Yes, so when we talk about taxes on expenditure, it's a tax that the government plays on the firms, um, which increases the cost of production. And at the end of the day, the, the firms also decide to either shift all of them, either fully or partially, onto the, cons uh, the consumers. I hope it makes sense. So I'm going straight to the point and tackle them. Look at them, watch them. GDP at factor cost. It's so simple. When you talk about factor cost, we are saying that factor cost exclude factor cost exclude taxes and in, it includes subsidy. I hope it makes sense. So GDP at factor cost. Look at this. GDP at factor cost. GDP at factor cost is equal to GDP at market price minus taxes on expenditure plus subsidy. I hope it makes sense. So what you are going to get is that you go straight to the question and then we pick GDP. We pick GDP at market price, which is eighty thousand, which is eighty thousand dollars, eighty thousand dollars minus taxes on expenditure, which is thousand one thousand plus subsidy, which is three thousand. And then our final answer. Don't forget the currency, which is dollars. So the final answer will be eighty two thousand. So therefore, GDP at factor cost. Is equal to eighty-two thousand dollars. I hope it makes sense. Now the next one. Again, we are going to calculate for NDP at market price. If we talk about NDP, we could see that is the gross that has changed into next. If you want to convert gross to net, we subtract depreciation. I hope it makes sense. So NDP at market price is equal to gdp at market price minus depreciation because when you subtract depreciation it will remove it from the gross to the net i hope it makes sense nice one so we go straight to the question and we pick our gdp figure and which is eighty thousand. then we less our depreciation figure which is one thousand i hope it makes sense so eighty thousand minus our depreciation which is one thousand which will give us seven seven nine thousand dollars i hope it makes sense so it will give us seven nine thousand dollars that is how to calculate for ndp so whenever you want to convert the gross to net we, sub we subtract depreciation now listen to me very carefully it is not always that you get depreciation in the question listen to me sometimes they will put capital allowance sometimes they will keep, uh, they will put something replacement cost Sometimes they will um, put something like um, consumption allowance. All of them are depreciations. Don't be confused when you see such things. I hope it makes sense. They just want to trick you. So it's either depreciation, capital allowance, uh, consumption allowance. That one is um, IFRS, International Financial Reporting Standard um, 16. No, International Accounting Standard 16, IAS 16. IES system, right? Which is property, plant, and equipment. I don't, I don't think you know that. Don't worry, uh huh. Because we, 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 we the accountants, we do, we are the, we the people who measure accounting. We understand that. So that's how it is. Thank you for that. Okay, uh huh. So we are moving to the next question. So we are saying that GNP at market price is equal to GDP at market price plus net property income from abroad. Now, whenever you want to convert domestic 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 to national we add net property income from abroad when we talk about net property income from abroad we are talking about we see in in ghana here we have foreigners here right so we are going to send their income back to their country and all the ghanaians who are in different different countries we are going to bring their income here how it makes sense so we are saying that when you strike the difference between the foreigners who are here who are taking away their income to their various countries and the Ghanaians who are outside the world, the, the West income, right? When you strike the difference between them, we are saying that the difference is what is called net property income from abroad. So 
the foreigners who are here uh, who are who are here's own minus or Ghanaians who are outside own minus the foreigners who are here Ghanaians who are outside income minus the foreigners who are here's income I hope it makes sense that will give us the net property income from abroad I hope it makes sense that's how it is so whenever you want to convert domestic to national we add net property income from abroad so from here we have GDP GDP as usual is 80,000 net property income from abroad is 5,000 in the question so all together we get dollars don't forget so it's 85,000 I hope it makes sense so it's 85,000 so that is how it is okay all right all right we want to calculate GNP at factor cost right so GNP at factor cost is equal to GNP at market price if you want to convert market price to factor cost we subtract indirect taxes and we add subsidy I hope it makes sense nice one so we have to go straight to the question we have already calculated for GNP at, uh, at market price right and when we, we calculated for GNP at market price we got 85,000 85,000 so we just go straight to the question and we pick our 85,000 and we less or we subtract our indirect tax which is thousand and we add our subsidy which is three thousand and we get eighty seven thousand i hope it makes sense so we have already calculated for this one which is eighty five thousand dollars minus indirect tax which is one thousand plus subsidy which is three thousand so the final answer will give us eighty seven thousand dollars i hope it makes sense this is formula number one we can use second formula right to calculate for the, the same thing all right if we want it also to be simple we already know our gdp at factor cost so if we know gdp at factor cost then we just add our net property income from abroad to convert it to gnp gnp at factor cost right because we are saying that we want to convert domestic to national we add net property income from abroad so we just add our net income our net property income from abroad to d in order to make it in i hope it makes sense and we have already calculated for our gdp at factor cost and when we calculated for our gdp at factor cost um our gdp at factor cost uh, is um eighty two thousand. i hope it makes sense gdp at factor cost is eighty two thousand. so we just add the net property income from abroad which is five thousand to it and you get eighty seven thousand. i hope it makes sense so this one is the GDP at factor cost is already 82,000. So we add our net property income from abroad, which is 5,000 to it, and we get final answer to be dollars 87,000. I hope it makes sense. 87,000. So that is how it is going to be. So 87,000. That's how it is going to be. So let us look at our next question. Okay. All right. All right. The next one also is telling us to calculate for NNP at factor cost. NNP, which is net national products at factor cost, right? Good. So the net national product at factor cost, we are going to calculate for it, right? Now look at it very careful. Net national products. I have told you that whenever we want to convert gross to net, we have to less depreciation. I hope it makes sense. So we are going to less depreciation from the gross national products in order to get the net national product. I hope it makes sense. So we know GNP. We have already calculated. Uh, we have already calculated for GNP at factor cost, and we said that the GNP at factor cost is eighty-seven thousand. The one we just calculated is eighty-seven thousand. If it is 87,000, then we, sub we subtract our depreciation, which is 1,000, and we get 86,000. I hope it makes sense. So our GNP is 87,000, and the depreciation is 1,000. So we get our NNP to $86,000. I hope it makes sense. So that is how it is. Okay? All right. So let us look at our next question. Our next question says that, all right, our next question says that, um, do you have sufficient information to calculate the GNP per capita for this economy? Explain your answer. 
You see, actually, when you talk about GNP per capita, um, it's more or less like um, uh, we are talking about the gross national product per the uh, population, uh, or it is the ratio of GNP to population, right? We are looking at the GNP or gross national product per population. I hope it makes sense. So, um, actually, when you look at the question, we don't have population there. Population has not been given, right? Because the GNP per capita is equal to the is equal to gross national product or a GNP figure over population. But in this question, we don't have population there, so that means we cannot calculate for the GNP. So use your English to explain that GNP per capita is used to measure the ratio of gross national product per population. And once we don't have population in the question, it is not possible or it is impossible to calculate for the GNP per capita. I hope it makes sense. Per means per head. And we have to divide it by the population. But we don't have population in the question. Fine. If you know how to calculate for population, then that one is no problem. So look at the question. Look at it very well. And if you get to know how to calculate for the population, then you'll be able to calculate for GNP per capita. I hope it makes sense. So in all in all, that is question number one. Once again, my name is Evangelist Alexander or Sequam Impossible, right? So subscribe to the channel once we are going to give you the next question. All right. Bye-bye.